After World War II and through the 1950s, the middle and upper middle class was quickly expanding. The growing efficiency of the industrial assembly line provided good-paying jobs and affordable products. By the late 50s, most Americans owned an automobile that enabled them to travel around the country for family vacations. Many traveled to the romanticized West, the home of cultural icons such as the Lone Ranger, on the radio between 1933 and 1954, John Wayne's many movies, Ansel Adams' photography, and the legend of Davy Crockett. They stayed in motels on Route 66 and National Forest visitor cabins, but they were also beginning to buy vacation homes in places like Aspen. Building in a remote location presented challenges, as mechanization quickly began to replace the handmade in many aspects of American life, the option to construct a building in Aspen using log cabin kits that could be ordered by catalog, delivered by train or truck, and then assembled on site gained in popularity. The market for this type of structure in Aspen was dominated by a Washington state-based company called Panabode. For people looking for adventure, the Panabode kit presented an opportunity for the can-do generation of the 1950s and 60s to tackle a realistic project that reaped the rewards of an entirely new building. By the 1950s, do-it-yourself became a cultural phenomenon of the post-war generation. Many returning veterans welcomed the opportunity to apply technical skills they'd learned during the war. The kit buildings were a life-size version of one of the most popular toys of the era, Lincoln Logs. Prefabricated construction grew parallel with the increasing market for vacation homes. Aspen's Panabode examples allowed many owners to build a second home when they might not otherwise have been able to afford the cost. On average in 1960, new houses cost $15 a square foot to build. However, Panabode buildings, constructed in Aspen, cost roughly $10 a square foot. The log kits were attractive for both Aspen residents and clients, such as the Aspen Skiing Company. By the 1960s, Panabode kit buildings became the most common type of rustic-style architecture built in Aspen, with more than 50 Panabode buildings erected during the mid-1950s through the late 60s. Numerous on-mountain structures still in place today, including restaurants and warming huts, are Panabodes. Within the city of Aspen, Panabodes were constructed as primary homes, second homes, rental units, lodges, and apartment buildings. In the 60s and 70s, locals developed two subdivisions entirely of Panabode houses. While the Panabode company is still in business, changes made in the 1970s to provide greater energy efficiency appear to have made the buildings more expensive, diminishing their appeal in this market. In addition, Aspen homes became progressively larger in size. Aspen's Panabodes of the 50s and 60s in some ways illustrate the end of construction of modest-sized residences, particularly small vacation homes.